Well, hello! Welcome, everyone! Welcome to Playframe and to Demon Souls and this pit of education I have here. It's the most foreboding classroom you've ever seen. I'm gonna, this fist pump thing is weird. I'm gonna stop. Welcome, though, to Demon Souls. So, I'm alone today. Dan is not here. Just recording scheduling didn't happen to work out, which, that's unfortunate. But, fortunately, rather than pressing on ahead, because uh, we shouldn't just go on to new areas without both Dan's, that'd be nonsense. Instead, I thought, hey, this is an opportunity. We'll do something a little special. So there's various aspects of the game that I'm probably not going to be do. Well, I know I won't be doing much during co-op just because it doesn't really work out a whole lot. But uh, some of it could be interesting and some of it I've never done. So I thought today, since it's just me, let's take advantage of that and do some of the things that are harder to do during co-op, such as actually talking to NPCs for once, and maybe, if we're very lucky, some world tendency stuff. Which I've never done in any playthrough of Demon Souls, really, so that could be quite enjoyable. We got a lot of people, though, who are all showing up here at base who I've barely chatted with at all, and, I don't know, could be nostalgic actually checking in with one or two. Maybe one or two of them will actually teach me something. Thou seekest the power of the soul, no? I guess. Then touch the demon inside me. Still weird. Hey, why not? I get a level. Um, yes. I do enjoy that she does actually have dialogue that just kind of keeps persisting as she gives you levels. Neat. Demon Souls is neat. Far from my favorite of the FromSoft games, but still good. You there. The one who holds all my stuff for me. Thank goodness you're safe. I was worried sick. Um, we haven't chatted in a bit. How's it going? Sometimes I stop and wonder how I ended up here. Why didn't I protect my wife and daughter, even if it meant being slain by demons? <laughs> Please, forgive me. It's all in the past. It's weird how, even though Sleigh Bell hasn't really done anything all that villainous yet since creation, we've kind of been playing pretty standard souls lately. Just being this character, I feel more villainous. How did you do it? I can't imagine what it takes to slay a demon. If only I knew how to fight. No, oh, you seem fine here. We are indebted to you. For you fight on our behalf. Something like that. You. I can forge weapons for you for a fair price. You kind of can't, though, is the thing. Most of the weapons I'm forging these days are a bit beyond you, I'm afraid. Baldwin. I'll let you repair stuff, though. That you're still allowed to do. Yeah, the weapon I... Well, I guess you could, like, upgrade these things. My main sword, though, I've been upgrading kind of down the sharp uh, upgrade line. I've got it to plus four, which might be as far as I get it without getting some very rare drops. Is there anything I want to buy from you? Not really. I'm good. Thank you. Well, I guess we could talk. I never really talked to you. We never talk, Baldwin. I can forge weapons. For yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that part I heard. Talk about something else for once. It's still up to his old ways, is he? <laughs> Even the demons don't know what to do with him. Hmm? <laughs> yeah, the face animation on them is. A bit much. Back in my younger years, I had the strength of an ox. The miners would always ask me to clear out the bear bugs, which I pummeled with my bare hands. But even I couldn't beat them. So, I lobbed them into the lava pits. <laughs> oh, don't hurt yourself. Good talk. No interest, eh? I can tell you're not going to lie. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, I haven't really checked in with all the people who have been showing up around here, and I don't expect they're going to have much to say to me, given my stats involve... I've not leveled up Intelligence or Faith once, at any point. Thank goodness. The Lord has not forgotten me yet. 
For he has allowed me into the presence of Saint Urbain. All right, that guy. I shall serve him and pray with him, and thus express my faith in God, Mbasa. Anything else? I plan to bequeath all my possessions to Saint Urbain. My grandfather's articles may contain more miracle stone shards like the one he gave me, but they'd only be wasted in my hands. Saint Urbain can hear the voice of God through them. Is that so? Oh, it's you. Thanks to you, I managed to seek refuge here in the Nexus. Now I stay here and pray, along with my disciples, for the heroes facing the demons. May the heavens smile benevolently upon you, Umbasa. Appreciate it. I really can't get a whole lot from y'all unless I actually level up stats enough to where I could learn things from you, huh? May the heavens smile benevolently upon you, Umbasa. Where'd the other guy go? Smirk face. Hmm. My, you have rescued his Augustus. I express my deepest gratitude. You have relieved me of a great illness. Oh, thank God, Umbasa. What about over on wizard side, the wizard wing? I know one of them won't talk to me, but I rescue the other. You should teach me a little something just out of... I don't know. Thanks. Hello again. You saved me from great agony. I am sorry, for I cannot offer proper thanks. But should you have demon souls, I can teach you magic. Only my witchcraft is of a dark nature. And arouses suspicions. Why not try the magic of the great sage Freyk? Um. If you're referring to who I think you are, uh, because he probably won't talk to me. I don't think you're Freyk, though. What do you want, brute? I have no use for Adelpates like yourself. Away with you. I don't think you are Freyk, actually. Freak is another guy. I want to say who we rescue from somewhere. Darned if I remember where. Are you certain you wish to learn witchcraft? Eh, sure. You would honor me to assist one such as you, but are you sure? Honestly, it's nice just having the menu pop up, even though I know odds of me being able to use any of these are low. Well. Hmm. I guess it's possible. Where does it say the minimum required for using these? Or are there any? There have to be. I guess I need enough, like, memory slots to be able to learn it, but I thought that there would be a... I don't know. I should look into this later. Not really much of a spellcaster. I've kind of got... Got myself covered for that one, you know? Jingle casts all the magic I need. Once, I lusted after demon souls. I passed the fissure into Boletaria, but became trapped by the Nexus. Then, the king's executioner, Meralda, chained me up inside that tower. Meralda, yes. My thirst for demon souls is no more. On the contrary, I find such power dangerous. Moralda, someone we might if we're very lucky. If you are ever in need of my witchcraft, speak to me. You got it. We might bump into Moralda today if all goes super duper well. Or poorly, depending on how you look at it. Uh, I see our guy is not back here, but that's probably correct. You, how are you feeling these days? Uh, who are you? I don't remember anything. 
Ah, uh, deteriorating. Good having you back here, though. Welcome. Do you intend to challenge the king? I guess. You may be a great demon hunter, but I fear you may not be ready. The king's defended by the black souls of mighty knights and a fire-breathing drake. I defeated even myself. That's how I ended up in the dungeon. Beware the limits of your own power. Good advice. Do you have anything else? Beware the limits nope. of your own. Good seeing you, though. So, Patchy, how's life? Oh, I've not seen you of late. I have some precious new stuff. You'll find something useful, surely. We'll see, won't we? Hmm. Good, but expensive and not really good for me. Decreased damage from falls. There's an irony in him selling you that. <laughs> for so much, too. I like it. You're a good source of buying, like, late game grass or mid game to late game grass. But I am pretty good on it, honestly, right now, for the time being. I have bad news. There's a rumor that the silent chief Yurt has infiltrated Boletaria. Yurt's a mercenary. He'd kill his own kin for the right price. Now, I'm not a saint, but compared to Yurt, I'm as saintly as they come. So, I implore you to stay away from Yurt, the assassin in black. Oh, you've nothing to fear. I don't think Yurt's going to be setting foot well, do as you please. in the Nexus at any point of this playthrough. Odds are low. Anyway, so now that we've checked in with folks, I want to see if we can pull off doing any of the world tendency events. Again, for the folks who don't really know how this works, uh, as you are progressing through these areas and achieving various goals, you might be raising or lowering the world tendency of each of these zones. Uh, you raise it by defeating bosses, by defeating invaders. Those are mostly the two ways. <laughs> and you lower it by killing NPCs or dying while in soul form or body form, whatever the, you know, dying while having the full health form, human form, that's the one. Uh, I have gotten four of these zones up to pure white. Weirdly, we actually almost had that just kind of naturally. <laughs> Uh, actually, it was Yen, uh, or YB Creative, who volunteered to, uh, <laughs> do a quick invasion in Stonefang so that I could kill him real quick and bump up my world tendency all the way up to pure white, <laughs> which I very much appreciate. I very much love how helpful the Dan Hunters are. Anyway, since we have pure white world tendency in a handful of places, there are some neat little events and areas and characters and stuff that are now accessible in those places. So I thought, hey, let's go see if we can actually see any of those things because I never really have first one is going to be right near the start of level 1-1 one, one. which I hope still works with me in soul form I'm going to try doing that because if I die in body form then I don't have pure white tendency anymore do I which would be most Excuse me, inconvenient. So, normally, your first time through this area, that gate's closed. But because we have white tendency bumped up a little ways there, gate's open. And we're going to go explore this area. Which generally... I kind of already looted a handful of things out here, but... Okay. Uh, <laughs> goodness. What a group tantrum. I think it has a bunch of grass items out this way. I did see the crystal lizard. It got away, I think, but that's fine. But after that round of attackers, then there's another. Not too bad, just a lot of them, you know. Good way to stock up on low-level grass, I suppose. Oh. 
You're a little late for the surprise attack, buddy. Seems like we have a body here. And if I understand correctly... And if I'm not wrong... Yep. An invader is waiting for us. Executioner Merelda. This fight might be... No, no, still not a pushover. Got a lot of health on you. And I'm going to play it safe. Haven't got a jingle to protect me. Yeah. Need to recover the stamina. Come on. There we go. I win. I win and I get your stuff. Master's ring and binded gear. What's it say? Damage plus from optimal hits, otherwise less. Interesting. Shaped with straw rope, this ring increases damage inflicted by optimal hits while decreasing damage inflicted by all other attacks. One of several rings originating in a distant land known for its unique sword crafting technique. This ring too is crafted with a comparably uncommon process. Guess there's not a whole ton of point in reading a whole bunch of descriptions given... <laughs> we haven't been reading descriptions up to this point, and we're not really doing a... lore story focused playthrough this time but we never really did a side quest run for demon souls didn't really have the opportunity worn by boletarian executioners of whom Meralda was perhaps most widely known due to the bewildering combination of her unhinged cruelty and sonorous voice and then i think i already grabbed what little items there were poking around down here Just in this little area. That was about it. Just sort of a uh, different little branch of Bulletaria 1 1. And a surprise NPC invader. A lot of the NPC invaders, I think, happen more in Black World tendency. If you get it bumped all the way to pure black or near it, anyway, there are a lot of NPCs who you might be able to meet in White World tendency who will, like, attack you as invaders and phantoms in Black World tendency. It's a cool, underbaked, inscrutable system that <laughs> uh, Dan and I were talking about it last time, but I I feel like I would really enjoy a version of this system that is actually more possible to play around with. And where there were more kinds of things that could happen. It's a neat idea, anyway. Is there anything else in this part? Oh, there is, actually. There is a little more we could do here in 1-1. Because with a bit of White World Tendency, the dragons in this zone actually leave it. And I think I already looted everything that I can from their little nook. And just doing a little bit of running around and grinding. Might as well make sure though, right? While we're here. Alright, now we're getting toward dragon country. Excuse me. Excuse me. Gentlemen. Hey. I beg your pardon. I was here to see the absence of dragons. Please. So if I'm correct... Gone. And yeah, I did already loot the place. Nice. But yeah, those are the sort of little changes that, uh... Shifts in world tendency can bring. Which also makes this following bridge... Much safer. There's no dragon. I mean, replaced with a whole lot of guys the dragon would have taken out, I suppose, but, you know. Now you can actually loot the place a little more safely. It's a lot easier to do when you're level 50. <laughs>
Anyway. Let me get to an art stone. And we'll continue this little tendency tour. Alright, now, next. Stone Fang, level 2-2 two, two specifically. There's a world tendency change here as well, which may take a couple attempts to reach. You'll, um, understand what I mean once I, uh, get there. Hang on. There we go. Needed. Needed that. Thank you. Well, didn't need it, but you know. So there's an NPC who will show up in the area. Only once you have pure white world tendency. Unfortunately, we're going to have to do some daring jumps and drops. Remember when Dan and I were talking about how, like, hey, there's two ways through this particular zone. There's the long way and the fast but very dangerous way. We're going to have to go maybe like halfway down the fast dangerous way. Maybe not quite halfway, but we're going to have to go down some of that path carefully. Guys. Piercing damage isn't my forte, fellas. Do you think we could just... Move this along? I'm built for something very different. Okay. So over on this side... We need to drop down a bunch. Carefully. Ever so carefully. So let's see. I think first we want to go this way. I learned this at one point, but I don't remember it anymore. This way. Ouch. There's a shiny over there, but who needs it? It's not what we're here for. Mm, that looks possibly right. At least Boletaria 1-1 gave me a bunch of good, cheap healing items to scarf. Ouch. We're fine. This might be the floor we're trying to get to. I want to say yes, but I may be, I may be wrong. Uh, this would probably work. I could probably drop down here, too, especially with the cat's ring, but I didn't feel like giving patches that many souls, so instead... Ha-ha! Yay. We're fine. And then... Uh, ugh. Eh. Ugh. Oh, hate it. Really hate it. Extremely hate it. Nice. Still hate it, though. Oh, and I still need to walk along this to get over the- okay. Ugh. Ugh. Don't like- Don't like it all. Ah! Careful! We're walking. Carefully. Carefully! Ugh. Scary. Yes! This is it, I think. And there you are! Haha! -ha. Don't- don't mind me real quick, I'm just gonna take out a little guy's. Just real quick. Okay, that one got away. That's fine. Whew. Right. Anyway. Hello. Never encountered you before. Oh, there you go. You nearly frightened me to death, creeping up on me like that. My name is Skurva. I seek treasures of the unknown. I'm impressed you've come this far. Were you guided by a sixth sense? Or just plain lucky? Either way, you're quite something. Shall we put your luck, or skill, to the test? Um... Have you heard of the temple below? It is a work of art, molded by the ancient borrowers to appease the bones of dragons. 
as a precaution. A broad sword which can crush the bones of drakes is stored in the temple. Truth told, it's the laughing stock of many a swordsmith. They say <laughs> it's as blunt as a bludgeon. A dull blade <laughs> meant to slay a dragon. <laughs> Curious, is it not? I would search for it myself, but I'm afraid I'd fare poorly against the demons. If you happen to come upon the sword, please let me have a look at it. This place is incredible, eh? The bones of dragons exuding awe. A dream come true. It is pretty great. I now wish I'd brought that sword with me, actually, because I do have it already. Do you have anything else? Oh, no luck finding it, eh? Perhaps someone else got there first. Or it could have been melted in the lava. Tis a pity. I'll get it. Just give me a minute. So, uh, he appeared because pure white tendency here. Uh, and something that I'd not realized at the time, just because I remembered incorrectly and was also a little bit rushed, uh, is in that big boss fight against the sort of dragon god thing, the final boss of this zone that was punching the walls trying to get at us, um, I picked up a dragon bone crusher, as I think the name of the sword, a very, very big sword that I thought was just there all the time, but no, that's only there and uh, accessible in pure white world tendency. So I do have it, and uh, I should probably bring that back. That does mean I need to go back and just give me a minute. Let me go get the sword. Can't believe I forgot the dang big sword. Right. Oh, I uh, didn't remember you just disappeared after a while. Well, dang. Anyway. There we are. But I tell you what, this is kind of, uh, putting me in the mood, or like making me excited for whenever the next proper side quest game happens. <laughs> Doing this solo again. I guess we're just waiting for that Elden Ring DLC to come out. Can't wait. Anyway, I have the sword. You cannot have the sword. You can look at the sword, though. Hey, guards! Oh, you demons. Sorry, friend. I'd rather not. I love Boletaria for what she is. A place of odd wonders. Strange faces wielding strange trinkets, hiding in strange places. I'm beginning to think Boletaria is better off now than it used to be. <laughs> Don't tell anyone I said that. I could get myself into bother if I'm not careful. Sure, but I, I have the big sword, though. Do you... Hey, lads. You found it. Let me have a look. All right. Hey, lads. You found it. Let me have a look. Got to equip it, huh? Well... Not my forte, but, um, I'll see what I can do. Here it is. Oh, wonderful. The arts of swordsmanship applied in a perfectly useless manner. Hmm. Ah. Hmm. Look at that. Oh, don't mind me. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Please take this. Is a small show of thanks. Take care of this one, will you? She's a stunner. Well, thank you. It's a pretty nice item. So are we done? Take care of this one, will you? Yep. Well, cool. Nice to meet you. I think if you'd come uh, to this area in pure black world tendency. I don't know if it's in the same spot or what, but he will definitely invade you. Uh, but, plus side, if NPCs like this invade you, then uh, you get neat weapon drops off of them, usually usually unique ones that you can't get anywhere else. I don't know what he drops, but doesn't really matter. Anyway, we're done here now. So, uh, we've already done this pure white world event thing, and we accidentally, or well, we did the one in getting the big sword in the final area, so we're done in 
Area 2. Area 3 has stuff going on, but I don't have pure white world tendency there yet, and even if I did, we need to do some stuff in the second part of Latria uh, to do any of it, which Dan and I haven't done that yet, so save that for later. Instead, let's, um, well, let me get out of here first. Next. Back here at the Shrine of Storms. Uh, at a certain point, I don't know exactly what world tendency, I'm guessing just once you've got down white world tendency a ways. Excuse me, skeleton. Um, this dude will appear. And I've actually spoken with this guy before because he... <laughs> I came back here to go item searching and he sort of surprised me by being here. But um, he also wants to see a particular weapon. You have found the Makoto, have you? Bless your good fortune and, uh, well, good work. Now, just hand Makoto over to me. Uh, sure. I don't remember where we got the magic sword Makoto. I think it's a, uh, it's either a falchion type weapon or a katana type weapon. And we probably got it off of one of the really strong uh, skeleton fighters out here. They tend to wield, like, katanas, yeah? I think so. We got it somewhere out here. Um, you can have it. I'm not using it. Yes. Yes. This is she. This luster. It's finally mine. <laughs> Could this sword really be as deadly as this? There is only one way to find out. You dare. It seems like wielding the weapon is actually doing damage to him, which is fun. It also does damage when I hit you. With my, frankly, much better sword. I don't know why you wanted that one so bad. This one's much better, see? You dare. Ah, hey, my sword. So anyway, that's Satsuki. <laughs> Say goodbye to Satsuki. Uh, and I think that's about it for World Tendency events in this area, which is just as well as I think, just in doing that, we've probably bumped our... Well, it's not updating yet, but I suspect our World Tendency has gone down a little bit in this region due to that NPC killing. It certainly did in Boletaria, thanks to killing... <laughs> thanks to killing, uh, Meralda. Although she attacked me, frankly. Doesn't seem reasonable. We got one more event thing to do, and this one will be a bit of a doozy, because I don't know exactly where it is, but it's in the Valley of Defilement somewhere, so let's all enjoy this together, I guess. To five one. So apparently, once you get pure white world tendency around here, there is a ladder which appears somewhere after the rats, I want to say. And once you've unlocked that ladder and like kind of set it up you can access it whether you still have White World Tendency later or not. And it either... gets you access to... excuse me... a shortcut... or... a path to... a cool weapon, or both. Honestly, I would take either one. Both sound pretty good. But I'm gonna go... see if I can find the ladder. Okay, so I beat the rats. And there are a whole lot of shinies over here that we didn't reach. I don't know if those are related. It's so dark out here. Where is ladder? There's at least a one big guy over there that I'd love to not have to tangle with if I can avoid it, but... What's that sound now? Didn't care for it. Ooh, 
Are you the ladder? Are you the ladder? You might be the ladder. Don't know if this existed before. Hi, yes. Precarious little spot. It is, it is. <laughs> Do not love how precarious. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Gracious. Where am I even? Well? No one's sneaking up, right? Kind of scared to try running across this, but... Okay. Run! Grab! Oh, hello! Ooh. Very big. Whew. Nerve wracking. Oh, there's more to go. Okay. Three big ones seems a little unsporting. Well, here, we'll be tactical. Hmm. Not as damaging as I'd hoped, but actually doing kind of okay work. If for no other reason than it's pulling them one at a time. Real pain in the butt getting out here. I'm not taking chances. I'm all the way over here. You can't reach me from there. Fool. Uh-oh. Boy, you are an ugly one, huh? Yipes. All right, let's go. Just you and me. There we go. What have we here? Remove spear. The Easterell. There is a unique spear weapon which might actually be very good for us. Probably need to level it up a little bit. Looks cool, though. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Actually, no, quite bad. Scales with magic. Also requires magic to wield, so this one's just for looking at. A short spear of hard oak covered with engravings. The spear is one of the few remaining relics of God. Once belonged to the holy knight, Risaya. The divine nature of the spear increases its wielder's resistance to plague and poison. Boy, that'd be nice, huh? Imagine. Well, hooray. That, I think, is the last of the uh, world tendency events that I can really be doing in the places I've currently reached. There might be some more. In fact, I know there will be a little more to do in Latria, at least. But Dan and I need to do at least one more zone out there for that to happen. And I need to get a whole lot more <laughs> white world tendency in the area. But that can be for another time. Maybe we'll do that later. Anyway, this feels a lousy place to sign off. Let me get out of here so we can sign off someplace less gross. Ah, <sighs> much better. Much better. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this little kind of random intermission. Sorry it wasn't more... Uh, co-op dan times but fear not co-op dan times will return next week 
Thank you all very much for watching, though, and I will see you next time for the aforementioned Co-op Dan Times. Until then!